Hello me, meet the real me, and my misfits way of life. A dark black past is my most valued possession. Well, I accidentally almost, like I was very close to accidentally hitting the end stream button because I'm a moron. Like I was just about to try to start it, switch it over and for some reason I almost clicked the end button for some reason. Not you and me, your false friend. Anxiety's attacking me and my hair is getting thin. Today we're just going to whittle. No, no, just kidding. I'm chomping at the bit and my... Uh, no, whittling. Of me, it's me again. You can subdue but never tame. You just keep on thinking it's my fault and stay an inch or two on a kicking distance. Mankind has got to know his limitations. Feeling claustrophobic like the walls are closing in. Blood stains on my hands and I don't know where I've been. I'm in trouble for the things I haven't got to yet. Something in the axe and my palms are getting wet. Sweating bullets! So what's new? Anything? Anything good? What's grooving? Uh, for me, I know I had my like pre-yearly review review. If that makes any fucking sense. You know, they call us out to talk about what we think we did, and then they're going to make their own decisions, and then they'll give it to us again, and then we can discuss it again, and then we can talk about whether or not we think that we agree with them, and uh, you know, whether we feel we should get more, and then we'll get another review before the end of the year. Mind you, I've also been like in no way secretive at all that I'm trying to get the hell out of there. So it's like, to me, it's like, I'm just basically like, just give me the 1%. You, I know what you guys are going to give me, because at this point, I just flat out refused to go above and beyond, because I went above and beyond, and it cost me my sanity. So, you ain't getting it again, because you only can take the sanity once, you know? But the thing that sucked is, uh, now, my boss, his boss, and his boss were all in the office this week, for the most part. And today was the day that they were supposed to go back to Georgia, for the most part. My boss, and then my boss's boss's boss, go to Georgia. My boss's boss is in, sort of in this area. And I thought they all left for the day, so then I pulled out my sketch pad, because I'm trying to do something that uh, I think will add a little value, let's put it that way, to some of my commissions or whatever. Um, yeah, maybe try it, if I do this, maybe it entices other people, kind of thing. And um, I didn't realize that the other guy was still there, because I knew if I drew at my desk... And the bosses, all of them were there, they'd start coming over. And I thought they were all gone. And, uh, like I said, they weren't. So then, basically I was turned into, like, a little zoo exhibit. Oh, oh God, I can't, like, it's funny. I was just saying to my wife, I said, when I'm here, and I'm choosing to stream, and I'm choosing to let whoever comes by to say hello and talk and do whatever and, and you know, maybe have a discussion about art, have a discussion, you know, of, of anything, really. That's a different thing. But when I'm trying to do, you know, to 
first off, it's borderline mad madness to try to do what I consider my real work. Okay. There's, there's, I will, I'll have to, I'll, I'll explain this a thousand times, I know, and I probably have already. Like, there's capital W work, and then there's little w work. Little w work is the shitty job I go to on a daily day basis. Capital w work is this stuff. Okay. It, it has its roots in my head in, um, like, some of, like, Heidegger's philosophy about art. Origin of the work of art. And he talks about the work that's workly worked. You know, that type of stuff. Um... So anyway, like I said, I, to, to, to do my capital W work at my little W work, I know it's a stupid thing to try. Because that place is not conducive, even under the best of circumstances, to this at all. It's a place where creativity and, and you know, purity go to die. So... I should have known better, anyway. But then, to be turned into, like I said, almost like a, made me feel like a little zoo exhibit. I have never felt a fail. As I said, it was also, like I said, it's our, our pre-yearly review review thing, and my boss made us walk around the building. It was a rather awkward, quiet walk. So he wanted feedback, and I'm not giving them it anymore. I got tired of making suggestions to change things and then being told that that's just the way it is. Think of something else. And then you think of something else. Well, no, we can't do that either. That's just the way it is. I heard that sentence so many times in the past seven years. You know you're right. You know you're right. It's like a crack in the stone, I guess. What are they using it? If you're a Star Wars fan, you don't like Star Wars Disco, get the fuck out of the... I still don't know how it's legal. Never understood how this song could exist. I can't imagine George was that much of a sellout back then. But then again, maybe he was. I don't know. At some point, somebody okayed a damn lollipop that was actually like you were sucking face with Jar Jar Binks. So, I mean... At some point, that's got to fall onto the man's head. Right? I mean... George, you, you okayed it for kids to suck the tongue of a Gungan? Yeah, I think I think kids will like it. You know, a lot of turn into Bill Clinton. I don't know why. I could see Billy though liking that. <laughs> yeah.
was a little too much. A little too much. I don't think I get used to the thing. It's like it'll shoot the lead out. Like it's like BAM! I'm, I'm like, no, I don't need that much. Both a shout out and a kind of screw you to uh, Matt Pat from Film Theorists. Not that I'll ever see this, I'm sure, but the. Um, I watched this thing about how Disney ruined Han Solo, and damn it all, he's right. I just hate from pointing out that he's right. It makes me wonder if that was like Disney's trade-off, though. Like, like okay, you know. All right, Harrison, we're going to give you the Han Solo death you always wanted. Spoilers. Come on, the movie's been out for, you know. And Star Wars. You know what's going on in the Star Wars movie. And, I mean, I haven't even seen Solo and what happened in Solo. It wasn't because I didn't want to. It was just... There was some financial things, it was like, well, it's that or solo, or uh, so just, never mind. But anyway, I, um, did wish I saw the just cameo at the end that I know that I would like, but anyway. Um, the, uh, like, it was like, yeah, but they said, like, you know, all right, all right, you know, Harrison, we're going to give you the death you wanted, but we're going to take something huge away from your character. And people won't, well, you know, it, it'll be a subtle thing. But we're going to swipe it. I know. I don't know. It's a subtle movement. It's, oh, it's blurring again, isn't it? You bastard fucking camera. Soon, soon, I promise, soon. Stick with me for two weeks. Two weeks. All will be well. Like I said, it was like a, you know, it was a very good breakdown and a very good explanation. If you're not familiar with game theorists and film theorists, same guy, I mean, yeah, like same group. They're, they do a hell of a job. They really do overthink everything, but damn it, it's entertaining to watch. Um, and like I said, I kind of, I kind of pissed that they, they you know, pointed it out so clearly and cleanly and but at the same point I guess it's Disney's fault so it's not his fault it just makes me sad <whistles> alright see that's where I get confused here let me um, do the business stuff I keep forgetting to do every time uh, I think I copied it so let me make sure I got this done Reference photo. Yeah, that's the right one. I've been a bad, bad girl. I've been jealous with a delicate man. And it's a sad, sad world. 
When a girl will break a boy just because she can. Uh, I'll be honest, I was looking at my Society6 store. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it or anything like that. Uh, but Jesus, they've increased the prices. I'm assuming they're getting affected by the tariffs. Like the tariff war has got to be fucking with them or something because the shit's going up like dramatically. Um... But I am going to start looking into um, some alternatives in, especially prints, because um, their prints are just really, really expensive. And I think I found a way that I can um, offer like good-sized prints, like 12 by like I think it was like 12 by 18 or something like that. Um, so they're not small, they're not huge, but they're 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 like a good size. Um, but I, I should be able to offer them for like 10 bucks compared to like, if I were to go over to society six real quick, hold on. Um, the exact same print from them. I mean, like it just sucks. I, I, Oh, shut the fuck up. Get away from here. God damn it. Um, Just like there, I'm just gonna look at their art print real quick. So I looked at it today, I was like, "Holy shit, they're gonna update that much!" Um, like their 10 by 7 art print is 18.99. So that's pretty expensive. I wouldn't, if I was anybody on here, um, and you think about, don't ever buy from Society Six without when there are sales going on. They do them a lot, so that's a plus, but. They're just, the prices are going right through the roof right now. And like I said, I think it's got to be related to the tariffs. I have to imagine that they do a lot of, like, printing in weird places and overseas and stuff. So, um, I mean, I won't be able to offer all, like, the stuff like they do, like, frame prints and, you know, um, I mean, I'll leave the store open. It's not like I'm going to get rid of it, but when it comes to prints, specifically at least, I think I found a way I can do it cheaper, so I'm I'm gonna start doing that through here, cause it's just they're, they're just gotten crazy. I mean, when they increased the price up to like 16 bucks for 10 by 7, I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, and now it's just like I said, it's a, uh, I'm not a very good salesman for myself, as I normally, like I say a lot, but, like, I wouldn't buy my own prints right now at full price. Like, no fucking way. So, I think if I can do that thing, like I said. The problem is that it'll be something that I have to keep stock of here, as opposed to print on demand like Society6 does. Um, I also don't quite know what, I mean, I... I where I'd be ordering from has a pretty reputable reputation. I, 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 you know, it's, they're they're a pretty reputable organization. Um, let's put it that way. And um, so I I'm not overly concerned. What the fuck? You popping up again? Go the fuck away! I got the way. I'm closing the fucking store. Not I'm not closing the store. I'm just closing the tab. Um, but it's just like, I don't know, look, I haven't sold much anyway through them, but it's like, when they were cheaper, I thought I'd have a shot. Now it's just, they've gotten way out of control. And so, like I said, I think, I, I just can't, I can't hold too much stock here because I don't have space for it. I have a small house, it's, you know, and my house has kids in it and cats. Like, it's as much space as I really have already. Like, this is it. I'm kind of kind of in here, you know? So, um, what the fuck is that? 
I'm having trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at the Imgur. Imgur. I'm having trouble seeing it. My eyes are getting bad again. Uh, I think I'll do here. I think I'm running low on ink or something. To, what are you doing? No, don't just go away. Underneath the bridge, Tarpus sprung a leak, and the animals I've trapped have all become my pets, and I'm living off of grass, and the Drippings from the ceiling It's okay to eat fish Cause they don't have any feelings Something in the way mm -hmm. Something in the way Yeah Something. Ow! Stepped on the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Underneath the bridge, Tarpa sprung a leak, and the animals I've trapped have all become my pets. I'm gonna do this real quick, because it's pretty much lined up with that. I just want to make sure I'm. Kind of hitting the right spot here. And it's okay to eat fish, cause they don't have any feelings. Something in the way. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Mm -hmm. Something in the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm but I'm looking at it the way I'm looking at it. I'll be honest, I think I'm going to get a little aggressive with um, trying to get this stuff noticed a little bit. Um, I mean, not just on here. God, I, I've been doing wrong. I hope I get noticed. You know, I'd like to get a couple more followers here. Get I like to get people to work with me, you know? Like, literally, we'll do something that's close to what I'm doing, at least. It doesn't have to be the same thing, exactly, but... Um, you know, I've said many times, that's my dream of this play, like, this, this channel, specifically, is to be, like... Like a, uh, joy of painting with Bob Ross, but with more profanity and... Admittedly not for the... Very, very novice. New, you know, 
a bit of a novice is okay, but I'm not going to very much be able to talk to you about, you know, um, specifics of techniques or something like that, but I could talk to you about aesthetics, and I could, if people show me stuff, I can, I can work off of it to, you know, help them get to where they want to go, um, a little more cleanly than I can try to be like, okay, now we're going to do this tree this way, and, because I don't know how the fuck to do trees, I've never known. Every time I paint a tree, it looks like fire. I come on, drag you that, dig through the ditches. Not every time. Sometimes it looks swirly. Anyway, um... Do it, baby! I watched a cool TED talk today, though. That was um, that was really cool. The TED talk about visual arts, basically, and and how people, you know, can interact with them and understand and and speak them better. You know, like hell, you cry, never on your back. I can never die. To. Yeah, but it was just like, hey, the, uh, if the, like if you travel elsewhere, you know, like even really simple, you know, designs, you can sort of, you know, you know what a men's room and a women's room symbol looks like, or whatever, like you know, or little simple things like that that you can you can work off of, however you identify. Through the ditches and burn, through the witches and slay I'll me in the back of I am a meat popsicle. I don't want position, I want all positions. Alright, sorry. Now I'm like suddenly in Now, for no reason whatsoever, I will be thinking fifth element. Great, this is wonderful. Thanks, thanks, guys. He says to no one. More gas, more gas, one, two, three. Boom, 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 gas, more gas, one, two, three. Tie around, ribbon around the old everything. Knocking out tears for the villages. Uh. Oh, guess I'm more, guess I'm one, two, three. Say, so my dear guys, but it's not for the sea. Eggs and carbon bombs. The Pentagon knows how to turn us. Ton. One gas and one gas and one, two, three. It's real big balls. Back to sea. As long as it takes place over there. Uh, what else was I thinking of today? There was something I thought of and I can't. Popped out of my head again. Now, like, when I was, uh, again, I, I want to make clear, like, when I was complaining earlier about feeling like a zoo exhibit, like, again, that, I, I, as I was trying to say, that's different than here. You know, I'm mentally in a different place when I'm streaming versus when I'm just trying to do a drawing, you know, on my lunch break. And maybe it's the in-person thing. I don't know. Like, that could be it, too. Like, 
it's easy to deal with this and that and whatever, you know, chat or whatever, like, to me, it's, that's, that's a different thing entirely than dealing with, like, someone physically in my mix. Was secure. I'm saying went from ear to ear. Silent on that too. But like a stick of lightning, it came. Filling brain with pain. I'm saying a word at once I heard. Give up the funk, you punk. On fucking UFO. Went from the sun. You've got to groove and we want some. On fucking we're out of the and out of time, I'm gonna take that funk and make it mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. On you. Pum, 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 pots. You could feel so much better if you would show me how to funk like you do. Yeah, I'm gone. All that is really needed to save our dime. I remember what I was saying. I was saying I was getting kind of aggressive with trying to get this stuff spotted. Um, as I said, I'm going to start selling better prints that will be cheaper. I'll put them up through here. I'll put them up on my website. I'll, um, uh, I'm probably going to put them up at the uh, Chester County Art Association. I just got to make sure, like I said, they're, they're, like, I have to buy in stocks of 50, so they're going to be there. Um, so I got to be careful. I can't do, like, all my paintings, I might be able to do like the tulips and like, yeah, the winter shed gets a lot of attention, so maybe I'll do that one. Um, like we'll start with those, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then the um, yeah, that's right. Okay, just make sure I don't put too many in here. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. You would feel so much better. If you would show me how to funk like you do, you could feel so much better. If you would show me how to funk like you do, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could feel so much better. If you would show me how to funk like you do, okay, we can pull that out a little bit more. So much better. If you one of the things I did the last night when I tweeted about this, and I, I tweeted the photo of where we were, I actually, like, tagged the Philadelphia Art Museum. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? It's their things. So, you know, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep doing it. Every night, I'm tagging their ass until they start going, Brian, stop. This is a restraining order. Right between my eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, you know what? Either they're going to pay attention and they'll start going, hey, what's the matter? Just doing the thing about that, you know? Or they're going to be like, you know, uh, this is a cease and desist. I'm fucking you out to the low. And from the sun. We've got to groove it if you want some. I'm fucking out to leave. And we're out of time. Gonna take this funk and make it mine. You got. Oop. Went back in. It's like a dick on a cold day. Went right back. Right, right up. Anyway. There are times working the, yeah, when I would work at the ballpark. Yeah, you know, the 
the summer games, you know, like the, the, the warmer weather days are hard to deal with, but they're not nearly, um, if you ask me, as bad as dealing with the fucking cold in April. That's when we actually, in the ballpark, will lose a lot of people. It's actually the first month because people don't understand how cold it is to work there. You know? I mean, you think April and you think, oh, well, it's spring. It's warm, right? No, but like 50 degrees gets really cold. Especially when you're up at the uh, like 300 level, 400 levels, and you're just standing in basically a wind tunnel. I used to joke around about how, you know, some, sometimes I'd be like, oh, man, it's so fucking cold out today. You know, my dick became an innie. Again, I, I like to class things up as much as I can. Look at your pants and I need a kiss. Why can't I get just one screw? Why can't I get just one screw? Believe me, I know what to do, but something won't let me make love to you. Why can't I get just one fuck? Why can't I get just one fuck? It's got something to do with luck, but my whole life for just one day after day, I get angry. And I will say that the day is in my sight when I turn around and say good night. Whoa, my mama, mama, mo, my mama, keep an eye and eye on your son. Perhaps you're not the only one. Oh, my mama, mama, mo, my mama. Down, what your boy has done Sitting down like he's number one He went downtown and got him a gun Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me You know you got my sympathy But don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me You know you got my sympathy I'm really just doing this to more, when I go to do this underpainting, which will be very shortly actually, we're actually going to get some paint on here tonight. I thought this would take a lot longer. Maybe I've got to do some little things, like i got to get rid of some of the guidelines again, because I always get fucked up and I start thinking about, like, that this right here is part of, you know, has to go on farther or something. Words make me ties, words make me exercise, magic prize. Don't say when I'm in your thighs. Oh my, 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 my mom. I'd love to love you, mother. Say it's ready, it's ready to pounce. Pounce the ounce. Oh my, 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 my. Say it's ready, it's ready to pounce. It's the ounce. Oh. Say it's a make. Um. You know, I mean, there's stuff I can just, I could always, like, literally just sit here and keep doing shit, but I'm not going to. Part of it is, you know, I still think a lot when I'm, when I'm painting of drawing, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, I try to make sure things and markings have a purpose on there besides just being a you know brush stroke. Um, they're usually intended to move you somewhere that I want you to go. So and sometimes I mean I'll go as far as like a hard outline sometimes, that's okay. I don't mind it. Amazon Music, you're, you are not hitting me tonight.
got to figure out a way to adjust my Google Play music. I could use that more often, but the problem is it's loaded. Like, it, it took everything off my computer when I tried to upload it. And so it's got, like, hundreds of hours of podcasts in there that, like, I've already listened to. They've just been sitting in my hard drive, you know, and because uh, I'm lazy. And, uh... So it's like loads and loads and loads of the Preston and Steve show, um, classic Lantern cast episodes. It's a Green Lantern podcast, if you can't tell. I go old school. I was I was back listening to it when like it was uh. Dan and Jim, both of them I became friends with, you know, like, sort of in real life. I've never met them in real life, but, like, we're friends on Facebook, so I, I interact with them a lot. So. I remember when Jim said his, him and his wife were expecting the first time, and then just had their second baby earlier this year. It's it cool. It's cool stuff. Them's good people. I don't know who's doing it now, actually. I think it's Mark and Chad, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, I literally accidentally stumbled on it the day it was released. Like the first episode, I was like, oh, look at this. Lantern. I don't know. Why haven't I looked at this? Why did this come up before? And it, like, it took me a while to figure out. Oh, yeah, because it was like literally that day. The first episode. I mean, it started up when, like, you know, like, Blackest Night was approaching and all that stuff. So it was like a really. It was a good time. Was up in the blue stack mountain stars, so you kept a bit of a still. You're sneaking home a bottle when the guards came up the hill. Lose the booze, cried Darcy, before he could reply. He dumped it in the nose back of his donkey standing by. The donkey had a ganky leg and only one good eye. It's where that he could fly. He rocketed through a roundabout and down by James's bar. Then he bolted through the hedges of the track about a char. Gaga, the trophy on the wall. Here's to you, to me, you won it all. The day the Darcy's drunken donkey won the race at Donegal. Alright. I think it looks like it's something we can start with. What do you think? Who's here? Anybody here talking? All right, stalkers, come on, it's right here. Apple, bad apple, Commander Root, Crystal Ball Bot, Dot Producer, Decaf Smurf, you know I love your name. Slow Cool, come on, anybody here? Come on, so what, what do you think, what do you think, it's a good start? I gotta fill up my turp, I don't have any turp in time in my, my jars. What in the holy hell is this? What did you do, what did you do? Twitch. What the shit was that about? Oh, that was wacky. Like it opened up Internet Explorer, whatever the hell they call it now. I think it's like Edge. And Microsoft, you guys do really cool stuff sometimes. You will never be cool. Just, just FYI. Do okay things. I don't mind, you know. To drink up all the winnings and to celebrate the night. We missed the poor old donkey, but still we had to laugh. When Jamesy made a trophy of the donkey's better half. So raise a beer in the air to the famous terrier. Everybody raise a glass to Darcy's ass. Darcy's ass! 
I do like the that that graphite pencil does a hell of a fucking job though. I mean, if you guys have watched the previous episodes, if you've seen any one of them, I mean, it starts to become a very, very difficult thing to interpret. So I have to break up the charcoal because it's, things aren't dark enough in certain spots, and I gotta, you know, I start getting, you know, I don't know. It's just like I, I'm not using the charcoal for the benefits of the charcoal, other than I needed to make shit darker, you know. And I, there's, charcoal should be used differently than that for me. I don't know. Oh, you guys still wet? Oh, that's not good. You know, oil and water and all that shit. You know, like, not, not, not prudent. Not at this juncture. Oh, it was just that one. It looks like he leaped through. Like he, he fell through the, uh, the wrapping that I had, and so he just sort of was like wandering free. Yeah, I think that's all this. Okay. Whew. Uh oh, getting low on this too. I guess I'd have to order boxes or something, too, if I were to get the prints. I just have a whole bunch of boxes that I, they were really perfect for, um, when I was doing, I was doing some commissions of people's parents, I think I mentioned the other day, you know, parents, husbands, whatever, um, a lot of them are superheroes, and sometimes there's other weird things like zombie killers and whatever, like, um, the weirdest one was I had a dude who hired me to draw his friend. Wrestling his other friend, but one of them was a bear. Like an actual, like, Russian, like, like well, like like a bear. Like, I don't know. Like a, was that like an old thing, wrestling bears in Russia? I don't know. Whatever. It was weird. I won't lie. It got weird. Um, I'm going to clean up my stuff I don't need around here, though, right now, because it will fuck me up. We don't need that. We don't need this. And what did I just do with that triangle? There we go. I don't need that either. Ow! God damn this cord. I can't wait. I can't wait. Shh. So I send that painting up. Hello. I get paid for it. That mic's on order. Oh, this, I can't have this here. I really can't have that one there. Oh, and you know what else? What else around here? The pen should be around here somewhere. Where did I just see it? Oh, it's here. This has to go away too. Sorry. I'm not an orderly person, but there are certain things like I can't have you around because you'll fuck me up. Like not you guys, the the pen. Um. There's nobody around here anyway. Doesn't matter. But like the pen will get in the way. All right, scoochie scoochies. Well, that's not good. It's starting to bend on me, baby. Don't do that to me. I treated you good. Oh, come on, Kevin Nealon. Alright. Now we take some looking. If you're playing along, uh, let's pull up your, pull up the photo here. Take a look. So we got to think about underpainting. And this feels like one I could cheat on, but I, I, maybe I shouldn't cheat on it. In other words, like, you know, I, I try to be good about, uh, you know, a lot more now about building. So in other words, we start back here we move to down here. This is our, like, last spot, because this is the most here, you know, closest to us. So, I mean, underpainting doesn't matter. We slap it all in there. It's thin. doesn't matter, but... You know, we should do it right. We should do it right. Right? I yeah, shouldn't cheat. So part of me is like, well, we go and start in the front and then work our way back, but then it's like... It always leaves too many like little like holes between things because you're trying like oh well this will this won't blend well together so I got to keep it a little bit separate and then a little bit separate becomes noticeably separate 
Um, but let's think about our our undertones here a little bit. This feels very oxide of chrome, like all along this, that little shadowy area, you know. That feels very oxide of chromium on the ground. Um, The Ice Age have come in, the sun is zooming in, the engine is stopped on it, the witch is rolled in, the nuclear era. I'm thinking Naples yellow for the foreground dirt. Or maybe cadmium medium. So I'm kind of noticing it's like we, I think like a huh huh oh but do I want to do the name? This feels like it'll end up being an overtone though. A Naples yellow red. Like it feels like it'd be a cheap underpainting. I like to put stuff in my underpainting that is not necessarily what you'd always think right off the top of your head um, when you look at it, especially because once all the overpainting goes over, you're like, well, why would you have even put that color down there? But there's that subtle little element it gives. Again, especially even when you when you are doing these little spots where this isn't quite going to match up, you know, like something around here and here, they're, they're not interacting well, so you just keep that little bit of space between them, you know, as you're painting. Well, that's where the underpainting works out perfectly because it'll be there to help cover that space a little bit. And that's where those little bits of a flicker yellow that you wanted to show comes through perfectly. Um, so I'm thinking this kind of in our inner circle. Okay. I'm thinking yellow medium here. Oxide of chrome all along the shadowy area here. Unless they predict, they, unless they offer me something else here. Let me just look around. I'm just thinking about the doors or, or whatever, like the, the. I guess this is like some more of this type of paneling or whatever, this is like rock paneling or whatever, sheet, sheet rock or whatever they're doing. Can't take much more. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now one, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. Four, nothing wrong with me. I'm just trying to think what I want to do with that. Because I don't want the outside of chrome on both. I think it's got to be a different... This should be different. I'm trying to think what I got. Maybe Terra Verde? Could maybe it's a little different. It's not. I just see here. It's a little different. It's not. It's not a whole lot, but it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? What do we think? I think that's a good one. This will be the the back to the wall. That's going to be on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I want to do. Okay, okay, so we got that. I told you guys I'm great at decision making. Um, can you hear my wife upstairs? He's thinking again. Stop him. Um, oh, you know that Naples yellow might uh, Naples yellow red might work actually. Up here. Hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, so it's a little different. Ah, yeah. And see that coming, didn't you? Ah. Uh, all right, let's keep thinking. Let's keep thinking. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Um, Cerulean's are probably just a good generic for the for the rocks, especially in the pathway. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. But nothing wrong with me, two. Nothing wrong with me, three. Nothing wrong with me. <sighs> now, that main fountain rock is really orangey, so I don't think I want to use an orange as our underpainting color. So we have to think. Hmm. It sounds crazy. Does it look at it? It might be the right call. Obviously not for the green part of this, uh, yeah, in here. But the um, I'm thinking actually, like as much as I hate the color's name, that flesh tint, that pinkish. Might actually be a good base for that. If I get this fucking thing off. Urgh! Ow. There's my grip stuff. Like, stuff to grab this with better. Might have to... Oh, uh, I might have to... Don't make me have to cut this. I don't want to have to cut it. I got, like, freaking stupid number two of this. How about this? Does this one work? Does this one come off? Okay, that one comes off. It sounds crazy, but I think I'm right. And if I'm wrong, it's underpainting, no one will ever notice. I'm just kidding. Ah, I think I'm right. I think that's what I want. Um, Alright, so let me start putting these, like, around me so I know what I'm... So I don't grab the wrong one by accident and go, What the fuck did I do? Alright, um... Want that, want that, want that. Go away, you... Um, you... I'm forgetting somebody. Who does I? Who does I? I got a little bit of cerulean. Let's got. I got to replace this. Uh, that's another one. I have so much out of fucking. Anyway, all right. That 400 bucks for this last commission is already spent. I thought I'd maybe we all like have a, like a few bucks to put aside, but that's already gone. It's already gone. Um, hopefully I can sell prints when I, when I do the print thing. Um. All right, all right, let's think. Keep thinking, keep thinking. I got nothing. No, um... It's pretty close to the, what would be the top color, but I think turquoise... Turquoise blue will be a good one for this foreground bit here. Um... We already, we already grabbed the cerulean, right? Okay, so that's going to be for most of the rocks. And then, mm, I always fall back on this bad boy, but I just love it, and it's just so nice. It just plays very well with me. The carmine, I think, for our uh, mulch. Jesus Christ, brain doesn't work. And you know what? We will need another blue. Oh, um, To make those probably just stick with cobalt. I think the yellow would be too much. Same with ultramarine. Yeah, we'll be alright. Alright, so these are our under underpainting colors. So we'll work on those real quick. So it's a terra verte, we said for the let's see if we can almost like lay it out to the painting a little bit. But anyway, let's go. Terraverde is going to be in those upper areas at the top. You know, along the wall. We don't need a whole lot there, so I mean, I already probably put down too much. Because I'm going to water the shit out of it with the, the artist medium. Actually, you know what? I want to keep that going a little longer, so I'm going to use some of this linseed oil that I had just sticking around. If I can open it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Gary, what the hell did you do to this? Anyway. You want to hear Gary? Jesus, God Almighty, is this even gonna open? Hold on, let's see. <sighs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's go like that. Come on. Okay, Jesus, God. Damn, man. 
How's it? That's alright. It's not good. Alright. So Terra Verde there. Some oxide of chrome. It's still one of my favorite colors. It's a very like I like it because it, it, it's such a gray green. Uh, and I know it's like a weird thing to like but it works really well when you start like you know, if, if you watch the last one, that's how I kinda got like the weird kind of grayish tone without ever having to actually use you know, black or whatever. I mix it in with the cerulean, a little blue, you know, a little titanium white. Put in a little touch of oxide of chromium green, it goes right to gray. It's great. Um all right, and for the, we're saying into this area, right? We're going here. Uh, oh, you know, what? I did say I was going to put this up in that area. Inner circle. Our carmine will be down in the corners, like in the lower front. Flesh tint is the base for our main fountain area. Look again. I probably overusing. I always do. That's all right. Um, let me say it's turquoise blue, right? For the for there. It's a good point to start on. And then our rocks will be bits of cobalt. Bits of cerulean. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I uh, need some strength to get through. Uh, my cousin Gary gave me some old stuff that he had from a painting class that he had just taken in college, like an extracurricular thing. And so a lot of it's very old and just sort of been sitting around and not doing much, so. Which means it got very sticky. Uh, Alright, so what we got? What we got? Let's look. Oh, that one's wet. Alright, we're going to have to... This brush has also been dried. I'm surprised it did not. Alright. That's probably too much. That's good for the ground, but... Uh. Disillusion So am I So am I Time to put the silicone confessions down Take a look around Been away in the silence the way the back of the ground to the town you were never in Ireland unique voice among the many in this 
as quiet It's opening Into each other Living on iron Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm unfortunately right now just trying to to scrounge until there, there's so much here. Like my turquoise blue, I'm almost out of. There's um, cobalt I got to replace. I got I got so many here that are just needing to. They're they're running out quick, and I'm just trying to push every last. Like I don't even want to use my medium. I mean, it's not like it's near empty it's just I just uh, the way I use it, it that's dangerous <laughs> that's low it's like so I get I get cuckoo about this stuff sometimes and I know I overuse that's the thing I know I put out more than I'll ever end up using in a painting but it's like it's all I'd rather have too much out and know that I won't have to Especially when I'm mixing stuff, I'd like to make sure there's tons of it mixed, so this way I don't have to worry about trying to rematch it. Because I mean, it's it's more than possible. It's just I just don't like doing it. It's, it wastes time to me, and a lot of times it's especially as slow as I am now. It's like I need, I need you to be. I need to meet every little moment that I can. Um, disillusion. So am I. And like I know, like I, I've got a a friend who, who something I did for him. He said he'd buy me some paints, but it's kind of going through a rough point now. So it's like I don't want to. I'm not gonna harass him for it. It's like all right, you know. He can get me later, you know, kind of thing. So I'll always, at some point, end up needing it, you know. Like there's never there's never a point when I'm painting that I'm not thinking about like oh god I need to have some more of this paint I need to have some more of that soon so I know when he's cool and everything's alright I can be like alright hey you know we still I still need that paint and I'd be like oh you need that color and I'm like no I don't need that anymore but I need this color and he'll you know, be taken care of in this choir To each other and all I uh, No, unfortunately, I don't. It's all kind of out in the wild. Most of it doesn't bother me, uh, you know, because I, I am pretty consistent now in how often I'm painting, um, that it's not usually an issue, but for some reason, the, and it's not like these are old or anything really, the, the blues that I've been using, because um, some of them have been from newer batches, like they're all drying fast and I don't know what it is and it's the blues it's and it's them specifically my greens will stay wet for days on end and then it's like you know the blue and that's on canvas and on palette it dries too quick for me even mixed with a crap ton of medium and I don't know
Uh, you know, I think I just covered up a rock. Shit. Yeah, I did. Alright. Alright, we'll have to maybe remember it later. It's not a huge deal. It's a tiny one, but... The, um... In fact, one of my worst meltdowns I've ever had. Um in the studio and I it was caught on my YouTube uh not my YouTube on my um Facebook page I think I was painting uh, these boats on Boston Harbor and um it's it's a high perspective line you know a horizon line so there's a lot of blue in the water you know it's it's all over and um I was working on it the one night, and I went through, and I was like, all right, before the end, of, before I wrap up, I'm just going to put all the blue down. I'm just going to put a shit ton of cerulean down. I put a mess of cerulean down all over the thing. And I went to bed, and I came back out here less than 12 hours later, I think. Maybe, maybe a, a full 12 hours. And it was all dry. And anybody that tuned into that one got to see me kicking shit around here <laughs> and just... Because everything I had intended to do was to be mixed on canvas in that blue. And so when he tried and had a skin on it, it was not what I wanted to be done. I believe I called Bob Ross a liar at that point because I said that, you know, he says no happy accidents, uh, no uh, accidents, uh, what do you say, uh, no mistakes, just happy accidents. And I was like, this is a big effing mistake. Um... Yeah, uh, the only thing is, I mean, I I farted around with Illustrator for a while to try to see if I could get something that at least felt sort of visually like my stuff. I mean, the thing is, in the end, I, I still like, I like the real texture. I like that, you know, they have um this pop-up Van Gogh thing that... Uh, in our King of Prussia Mall here, um, where they have like like three B three D printed, I guess is how they did it. Um, reproductions of some of the paintings that are in the Van Gogh Museum, and because they are reproductions, they're okay with you walking up and touching them. And I'm uh, we went and I didn't touch them that time, but I'm going back some point soon and paint them because I actually want to touch them even though legitimately I, I looked at them and I can tell you from my memory of seeing some of them that they are not their thickness is wrong in certain spots because they um, you know whatever uh, it's hard to uh, that's what I did the other night like if you look between the tube and the the little yellow pencil sharpener, you can see the little line there, and it's uh, like a board or something. The guy here before me had put in there, I guess, to hang calendars that I haven't changed since 2014. That um, actually, I don't like that person who's on there. It's funny, anyway. Um, but like, it's like if yeah, you know, it's like maybe like an eighth of an inch thick there. There's nothing. It's not very thick at all. But the thing is. If you were looking at like the the Van Goghs, they like they free printed off of it. Spots where Vincent would have like an eighth of an inch of paint on there, and then everything builds off of that. Um, it's like it starts it starts there. So in other words, that's their flat instead of being an eighth of an inch off of the canvas. If that makes any sense to explain. Um, so there's, it's a, just a weird little element that makes it look a little strange. I mean, they're, they're very good reproductions. The colors are off a little bit, too, but that's, again, difference of seeing a painting in person and seeing a print of it, even a 3D print. It's a very good one, but it's not perfect. But at least, like I said, it'll let me kind of imagine I'm touching a Van Gogh. Because <laughs> I totally would. If given the opportunity, I would literally just be like, <laughs> gotta touch it. I am notoriously bad about getting close to shit like that, so.
Well, I mean, I use, I mean, like, you know, it is a wax paper or whatever, you know, I mean, and a lot of times I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think I could ever deal with acrylics. I've tried a little bit, but they, they go so fast on me that even dealing with them on canvas would be too, they, they go too fast. My biggest concern usually isn't the palette. Um, as long as I have my memory about me and like actually remember to, like the other night, um, as I was wrapping up the street for the, uh, uh, my, my buddy Lou's commission, um, I, I thought I would be able to get it finished on Sunday night. I wasn't able to. And so I was like, all right, well, I got to make sure this stuff doesn't dry. So I, I dumped a whole bunch of medium just over it. Just, not even really trying to mix it in. Just as long as it was on there, you know, it would keep those colors nice and wet. And, and it worked very well. It's just that I was worried about the actual canvas because I hadn't really mixed. Like, you know, on canvas, like I had wanted to, everything I wanted to do. So... As I said, at this point, there's a lot of bad habits I know I have, unfortunately. Ah, damn it, I just covered up another one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's do this real quick. So this way I can put them back at least a little bit. Just one a little bit. I might have to mix this a little thicker than I... Just so I get it in there. Uh, this one too, and there's one right there. That's where it is. That was the other one I covered up by accident. Let me see here. That was up about here. It works. Okay, and then we're doing yellow. I also find myself always in an issue when it comes to, like at least the, like the, that had to sound good when I flicked the microphone, right? Um, Jesus. The, um, Like the, the the reason I end up using a lot of these um, wax paper palettes or whatever now is because when I would try to use any other type of palette, like I would, you know, I had one time like I, I had a pretty big, you know, plastic one or whatever, and even as that was um, as big as it was, I would, I kept having to scrape out stuff off because it was like I'd run out of space. Um, because I'd have big globs of whatever color at one point, and then it's like, ah, no, 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 I gotta. So I ended up liking these wax paper ones now because it's terrible for the environment, I'm sure, because I literally would just sit there and. Uh, yeah. I've had ones where, again, maybe I don't touch that palette, I'm working off that one, and then it's like, well, it's all dried now, and. Anyway, I'll just throw it out. <laughs> I 
The new microphone will be here soon, so I won't, hopefully won't be smacking this thing. Well, I shouldn't say that soon. I mean, it's, I don't get to take the painting up to Lou until um, the weekend of September 1st. I wanted to give it some time to hang out and make sure it dries up safe enough that I can move it. Um, so then once I get it up to him, he pays me, and then I'll order the new camera, or the new capture card, which will replace this camera then with the other camera I bought that won't work yet without the capture card. And then um, I'll have a new microphone that'll be like a real microphone. And then I get rid of this dance. I mean, I won't get rid of it. We go back into the gaming area where, where I play. But I'll stop stepping on the damn thing or flicking it when I'm moving my hand around. I also realized that I did not spray like I should have again, but oh well. I only remember to put the fix it down on like maybe a quarter of my paintings. I always end up like, okay, let's just get to work. And then I, oh yeah, look, it's mixing in there with the other stuff. That's all right. A little graphite dust never hurt anybody in the painting, right? This used to be a lot more upsetting when I would just forego the whole underpainting concept and I'd start working on it and suddenly it's like, all my colors were turning to, to garbage. I was like, what, what's going on? And, oh, yeah. I don't know if there's always... Like, I do all this stuff now more as a... Like, like, for me, uh, um, again, the way I paint it, you know, with the dashes and everything, there ends up being a lot of spots where when I we used to not do the underpainting, I would just go right into work. You know, like I'd do the drawing and I'd just go right on top of it. Um, a lot of my old stuff, there's, there's gaps sometimes between objects or the background and stuff. And, you know, you see the canvas leaking through. Which to me, especially for the older ones, bothers the hell out of me now because they were white gesso. Like, at least this is, uh, I use clear gesso, so this is just the color of the canvas. It's not perfectly white. It's a little off, you know. Um, and it looks probably perfectly white there, but um, there's a little tint. And um, It gives me just a little bit of something that, you know, by doing, putting this on now, and like I said, I do it real thin, and this will, this I want to dry probably, you know, long before, I, well, I shouldn't say probably, I do. I want it to dry usually long before I actually get into the, those areas. Um, because then when I have a little gap here, it's a color I don't have to put on later, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, it's something I... I work a little space here. Cool, it's another color added into that element. Um, and I don't usually wait for stuff to dry. So, like I said, if if I could, if I was fast like I used to be, what did what did what did you hear? Yes, thing. Um, the um, it's 
Sorry, I get distracted by the song. Um, yeah, I, I would always just plow right over it and just go through and mix everything in my dashes and everything on canvas. Um, that's why I still, like, I'll try to work in small sections now, usually, to kind of keep that ideal behind it, I guess. You know, if I could start working again to the point where I could be in the studio for eight hours or whatever, stuff could change, but, you know, I could go back to that older method, I guess, but. there and kind of mix in where those will go I never really picked one from up here. So let's do that again. My doggy? What? <laughs> no, I don't have any dogs. I'm trying to think what you could be saying. And even if I did, unfortunately, like I have, I have two cats, um, but they're not allowed anywhere near this studio. They actually couldn't get here if they wanted to. Um, my studio is blocked off. Like it's an old garage. Um, that they'd have to, like, we, you have to go out to come into it. Um. Oh, oh, I was, um, oh, the, uh, 
my echo. It plunked at me for some, like usually when it turns on and then it gets canceled. Like you know, it doesn't hear anything back, but it, like it caught its name for a second. Sorry. Yeah, I get into a fight with that a lot here. Because it triggers off. I mean, sometimes that's obvious because I'll, I like I'll say my daughter's name and she's close enough to that thing's name that it'll trigger it. Um, but sometimes I'm just talking and I don't know what the hell it hears and it goes off and yeah, yeah, I, I, it's a blessing and a curse in a lot of ways. There's sometimes where it's like just wonderfully convenient, and then there's other times when like my wife's absolutely like told me I'm not allowed to um, like we were, you know, you, you can sometimes like put stuff I guess like on a a steady to buy list kind of thing and she's told me I'm not allowed to add anything that's called cereal because there was the one commercial that you know it would say order cereal and you know because she's convinced that the commercial would just start because every time it would go off you'd hear the one in our room we have a tap in our room that I have set for hands free and it would go off and I'm sorry I don't know what you mean so she doesn't want it to ever know what we mean It'll take long, I'm alive. My. My, my lord. Still visible a little bit there. Hare Krishna, my sweet Lord, Krishna, Krishna. Hare Hare, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Krishna. All right, what do we got? Uh, okay, it goes in there a little bit. All right, okay. This thing down here. That probably shows no real variation to you guys, right? Of course not. Just want a party. Party of us forever. We just want to dance. Money just for you. This is America. Don't get slipping up. Don't catch you slipping up. Let me moving up. America. Maria. 
I got a strap. I got to carry it. Yeah, that's all. Wait a bit. I'm so cold, like, yeah. Tell somebody. You gonna tell somebody. somebody. Get your money. Get your money. I'm gonna put a little bit of guidelines in here. I mean, again, probably not something that we. Yeah, I won't see it at all. You guys, you guys won't see it at all. But there's a little bit of texture into the. Like already into this area. Just because it'll be the. Uh, you know the the lines of the um, you know rake or whatever they put in the uh, the dirt there, of the Zen garden. Yeah, another band, another band, contraband, contraband, contraband. Get your money, get your black man, black man money. Somebody, you gonna tell somebody, your mommy, get your money. Satan Stephen Lynch Fest I'll do a little bit about myself My Friends all call me old scratch and I am a Capricorn I turn on all romantic walks and killing the unborn Got a little little lovers, a little goatee, little cover dogs from a little sea, little globe and homes make kind of hard to ski, I'm Satan. Woohoo! Mephistopheles to some, I don't know. My name is Beelzebub, but you can call me Beals. I love to watch Fox News and then go collect some baby seals. I'm drinking a bath and drink a Zivendel, trying to wash off that baby seal smell. Then I'll drink a toast to me. Hey, here's to my hell. My name is Satan. <laughs> and now he makes his living as a singing comedian. I'm in every Zeppelin album. I'm in all Rush Limbaugh's rants. I'm the reason that the Boston Red Sox even had a chance. Sounds a bit old. Fuck Charlie Downs. I don't care if you can fiddle him, Satan. Going down to Georgia, he was looking for a soul to steal. I would not be caught dead in Georgia. Okay, it's like, oh my god. Six, six, six. 
My wife and I saw Stephen Lynch. Um, I think it was like the night before Thanksgiving one year. Absolutely brilliant. He's absolutely hilarious. And we actually saw him in a not so funny bit, which was at the, uh, we'd gone up to New York to see him as the, uh, lead in the Wedding Singer musical. So we're like, ah, oh, we're big Stephen Lynch fans. My wife's a big Adam Sandler fan. Uh, older Adam Sandler, say. Um, and, uh, So we went up to go see it, and it was like, okay, you know, like, it was a thing. It's about as It was certainly a play that had actors in it. I need me some... Shout, shout, shout. Shout at the devil down below. It was funny because I had bought them too through like a, a thing that I had at my old job. Yeah, like a discount service or whatever. And we had really good seats. As bad as a... Uh, yeah. As bad as the play was, we had good seats for it. Um, and so then I bought it again through that same service, and we got tickets for Wicked. And now we're, Wicked is a much better play. But our seats were god-awful. I mean... If they had taken the roof off the place, we probably would have had a better shot of, like, the, you know, the, the planets aligning than we would have with the actual damn play. And I was like, how did they get that far apart? From, I mean, it was a different state, you know, or, or uh, playhouse or whatever, I mean. So, yeah, I, you know, but they were so, like, incredibly different. Shout, shout, shout out the devil down below. This. Uh, we already did L7 already tonight. Let's do a different one. Huh? Let's go. Come on, something else. Ah, uh, God, I wish I'd just start shuffling better. Oh, flaming Lips, I haven't heard that one in a while. I don't think. I know a girl who thinks of ghosts. She'll make you breakfast. She'll make you toast. She don't use butter. She don't use cheese. She don't use barley or any of these. She uses Vaseline. 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 
Yes, I'm late. I know a guy who goes to shows, uh, wins at home, and blows his nose. I don't use pillows. That's what tissues. Or his sleeve. I don't use napkins or any of these. He uses magazines. Magazines. Nineties was a weird time for music, baby. I love it, but it's a weird time for music. Magazines. Reminds me of Cher. She's always changing. The color of her hair. She's always budding. She's buying a star. She likes her hair to be real orange. She uses tangerines. Tangerines. I remember the first time my mom heard this song with me. She hadn't heard the whole song. She heard only the um, this last verse. So she was, didn't think anything too weird about it. Because, okay, I'm dying her hair with tangerines. That's out of focus again, isn't it? It is a little bit. There we go. All right. Um, and it's a weird song. I mean, I won't ever lie. It's not a, it's not a weird song. It's. I adore it for its weirdness, but... I know that it's a bizarre song. Um, and so she's like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a technique that'll work. You know, she's talking about dyeing her, you know, I knew people that used to dye their hair with tangerines and stuff. And so the next time she, like, was in the car with me, and again, I was like probably 15, the song starts coming on, and she's oh, this is the one with the tangerines! And then she gets, like, the first verse when she's talking about serving jelly with Vaseline on it instead. She's <laughs> Or toast or whatever, Vaseline. On. She's like, "What? What is this?" I was like, "It's the song. It's the same song you just listened to, Mom. Yeah, the other day." I challenged my parents a lot. So oh, good. It's been like, then like I wish I could. It's our desires. I don't know that it's not the meal. It's about all of that. Thanks, man. Yeah, in the past. I should say. It's about. He said I left my home. The dead never roams. And at the end of the day, all you can do is pray. Without hope, well, you might as well be blind. Let me blind. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Yeah, we're gonna this ugly mixture we're gonna make up here. Bumble. Let me fall. As well. And said I left my home where the dead never rose. That's I'll never to find that the end of the day all you can do is pray without hope we well, might as well be blind yeah be blind tomorrow comes a day too soon 
Tomorrow comes a day to soon. Rose, to tell rise. And he's on grand ears going back to me by. Spider those flips. I left my home where the dead never rose. The streets of gold I've yet to find. And at the end of the day, all you can do is pray. Without hope, well, you might as well be blind. Yeah, be blind. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Tomorrow comes a day too soon. Oh god, MacArthur Park, yeah. That's, um, uh, Richard Harris, right? So Richard Harris did that one. Alright, seriously, enough with the L7. I can't help it. I have a bit of an eclectic taste. And see, a friend of mine had shown me that when I first joined the um, my high school radio station. She had put that song on for me. And it, it was just so weird and it's so funny to me that I was just like, alright, I, I love this song. And, and truth be told, every single time I hear it, I think about my friend Connie. I just, every time. I, I, she's the first thing I think of when it, that I hear it. So it was like my first year at that high school radio station. I was a sophomore. And it was just like, it was so much fun. We just did so much wacky crap. It was just, you know. Looks like bloody looking to you. Carmen looks really bloody today. Look like nothing's gonna change. Everything seems to stay the same. I can't do what ten people tell me to do. And so I guess I remain the same. Sitting here resting my bones. And this loneliness won't leave me alone. One thing that's funny is it drives my kids absolutely nuts. I mean, the younger ones not so much, but as of yet, but certainly it did for my oldest for a while because, you know, you, you can't exactly find rebellious mu music to someone who literally will listen to just about ev anything and everything. She kept dropping bands because she'd start playing them and it was like, you know, she just, uh, she'd start playing something, you know, um, what's the band, LMFAO or whatever, um, and I started liking them, and suddenly she didn't listen to them anymore, and then, uh, uh, Chris is the, um, who's the one? I can't think of the brand. As soon as I say it, I'll know it, but... That's your hurry. And relax. Don't worry. We're gonna fall in love. We're on the road to romance, that's safe to say, 
but let's make all the stops along the way. 21 Pilots, that's who it is. She started listening to them, and I was like, oh, they're good, I like that. And then she didn't listen to them as much. Through simply hold your horses to rush would be a crime. Slice and easy does it every time. Safe to say, along the way, <whistles> the problem now, of course, is to simply hold your horses. To rush would be a crime. Oh, Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it every time. Like the man's. But see, even the normal songs end up looking weird, especially once you start slapping them next to each other with the, like, all the different. <laughs> I often said, if you, if, yeah, not that I have an iPad anymore because the damn thing died on me and I won't replace it, so I just use this crap on my phone and try to. But, like, you go through my music collections and it's like, oh, do you share this with other people? No. Like, you, uh, this is, you know, this is, there's. Like I said, you got Frank Sinatra right next to, you know, Nirvana and Tool and Flaming Lips and Stephen Lynch and. I don't have a whole lot of country because I don't typically like country music, but, uh, you know, maybe Garth Brooks or something like that on occasion, or, you know, Billy Joel, and I go everywhere. <laughs> Every now and then, a little uh, maybe uh, Little German opera, little Bach. Yeah, so this is right now violin sonata number three in C major, B W V one hundred S. But see, I find that I have to like I don't know. There's maybe it's a. a bit left over from my ADD or whatever, even though, you know, medication is supposed to help it per se, but the, uh, it's always been something that my mood will go like that to that to that to that when it comes to what I want to listen to, so it's like, I can't, I remember I took my car in one time because the, the sink or whatever was getting screwed up with the iPad, uh, or with the iPod, and, um, it just wasn't working. I mean, it would tell me it was sinking like for 45 minutes straight, and I was like, "Dude, there's no way it's taking this long." I mean, I'm plugged in. There's everything should be faster. And I took it up to the guy, and he's like, "Yeah, well, you have 6,000 songs on your, your." I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, if you didn't have so many, it wouldn't it take so long?" And I'm like, "Yeah, but it's done this before faster." I'm like, "Even with the 6,000 songs, I mean, all I did was add like two new ones this weekend, you know?" And he's like. Yeah, well, you're kind of overloading. I'm like, well, I need it. And he's like, well, what, are you going on a long road trip? I'm like, no, I just literally don't know what I want to listen to minute to minute. That's one of the things that frustrates me a lot when it comes to, like, Amazon Music's shuffle is because they don't shuffle very well they, and it's like I start thinking like well I'm listening to too much of the same thing you know the same band keeps popping up you know one or two songs apart and it's like no that's not what you I want from you you've got to do better Uh, 
let's see. No, yeah, yeah you guys can't, because I, I, when I broadcast it over, I did once, one live broadcast where um, I let it go, and the uh, YouTube, like, freaked the F out on me. I had, like, 270 copyright violations and, like, you know, different countries, and so I was like, yeah, I guess I can't really do that, because... I mean, not that I have any intention of monetizing, but they were like, yeah, you um, you probably have to remove this video. I was like, huh, okay. I don't want to. Can, can you just silence it? So, like, half that video, um, if I'm not mistaken, on on YouTube, I think it was, like, the second video, second or third video I made. Because somebody was like, oh, I've seen plenty of streamers that leave their stuff on the whole time. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll give it a shot. And then, like, as soon as I did it, it was... They were like, no, you, uh... You violated, like, every copyright law. I'm like, oh, cool. That's nice. So, I don't do it anymore. I keep it all under here. I'm gonna... I, I keep... I keep planning on every weekend. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna compose something that I can at least leave on here. You know, I'll pull out GarageBand, I'll put something together, you know. I have some old stuff I tried to write one time for, like, a video game. And, like, maybe I could just, like, kind of twist it around a little bit, make it a little different, and, and it'll work. And, um, I just never, every weekend it's like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it now. And it's like, no, nah, i got to do this other thing. Or, uh, you know, this week it's not any better. This, this weekend was supposed to be open, and now we're going to, uh, like a picnic for um, it's a club uh, for the Philly Supervisors Club, but half of the people in it aren't supervisors. It's weird. Um, I gotta run up real quick and put the kids to bed, so I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I got that's why I was like, I've looked through some. I've never found anything I like from the royalty free or whatever. So, all right, let me get back with the kids real quick. Put that there, and there.
I turn the mic back on. Alright. Sorry, my camera's, like, it's moving. Not supposed to move. Alright, let's see. What were we doing? What were we doing? We got, I got our stones in. You giving on to all these reckless charges, I as are. Lying to yourself again. Suicidally as on. Think about it. I don't know the form nine. What it to get it through to you, precious. No but this, why you wanna throw it away like this? Uh, I did not see the uh sad from Canada, but I'll pass it along till the next time I see him. I'll probably see my boy before I leave to, for work tomorrow, because he's always up early. Summer vacation, and my 11-year-old gets up at 7 in the morning. Not to do anything of value, you know. It's not like he's going to go out and mow the lawn or anything like that for me. No. Watch YouTube videos on his Kindle. And then at 8 o'clock or 8, I think it's 8.30, he's allowed to go down and play Fortnite. Which is basically when all sleeping in the house gets put to an end. Disconnect and self-destruct one moment at a time. What's your rush now? Everyone will have his day to die. That's a little too watery. Kind of goes on a slant like this, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, actually, now I'll say this: he's he's actually now this year may be different because he's he started in middle school, so he's not going to have as much free time um, beforehand because when the school year's in, my wife's a teacher, so she's up and she's out. Um, because she's she teaches pretty far away, um, so he will wake up earlier because once I leave the house, because I leave by seven, he's downstairs and playing video games with his friends before they go to school. But because middle school starts earlier, he's not going to have that same amount of time, um, and he knows he's not going to be able to get down there and play if I'm still here. So he may start becoming a little. A little lazier. Now the eight-year-old, she's a pain in the balls. I love her to death, but she's just always been a pain in the balls when it comes to waking up. She's got too much of me in her. See, I know there, there's there's a pretty um, unique element with with my youngest, and the fact that I know exactly when, like, I know the exact day that she had been conceived. Um, it's the only real opportunity that would have had to have happened, and the thing was, I know I was also blasted on Jameson and I tell you that that child has every bit of the piss and vinegar that would come with whiskey <laughs> and uh, so she's, she's, she's funny but 
That's great. It's funny, uh, like, like my new discovery, like the I was using earlier tonight. I guess it's funny because like it's so like, I don't think my like, I don't think normal people get it. Let's put it that way. Artists get it. When you find like that one little thing that suddenly like works really well for what you want to do, it's like, oh my god. And for me, it's that a little lead holder from Stadler. That, um. I've watched a, a comic book artist named Jim Lee use it, no relation to Stan, um, use it for years, and I, I, I could never find it anywhere. And then if, he finally listed it one day on his uh, on his Twitch stream, actually. Um, and so I went, I put it on my wish list, and so I finally ordered the damn thing. And I just, I've, I've been drawing with it uh, since it came in last week, I guess, and I, was, I just love it. The pencil sharpener, unfortunately, that, like, the special designed version for it sucks. So, that was about 12 bucks wasted. Keep snapping the point off, or not sharpening it. So, it's like kind of a... But the pencil itself is just phenomenal. You ride, swing down, sweet chariot, stop and... Let me ride, swing down, sweet chariot, stop and let me ride. They hit the Easter Island, the Bermuda Triangle. Ha ha! But a party. Such so out here, citizens of the universe, put on you view you, the good times on Mother Ship. Once. Yeah, hearing any noise, it's just me and the boys. Hit me. You gotta hit me, bye. I got a couple of those in my art box I don't have down here anymore, I don't think. They're very good ones, too. That's a, no, it's a Stadler. What else do I got in there? I cleared out a lot of my my pencils from down here because when my wife and I went on vacation, I had intended to do some streams from our hotel room, but the internet connection there was god awful. Paid fifteen dollars extra per night or whatever to have internet, and their internet sucked. I was mad. They gave one of those, you know, they they sent a review or whatever, you know. Tell us about your experience. And I just railed on them about the internet. I have was tempted to believe that, like, it was one of those places where they, they try to constantly try to sell you timeshare for it. And so I was, like, joking around that we flat turned them down, like, repeatedly. Because they all want to cram you in, you know, oh, it'll only be a half hour presentation. And then you go, unless I say no, at which point you will keep me there for three hours and, you know, just kind of hammer me down into signing up for something I can't afford and don't want. But, uh, so we were joking around that because we said no, that they screwed up our, you know, like, let's just take their internet out a little bit. And because the internet sucked so bad, we kept falling back on our own personal data, which um, for that month, <laughs> we came within, I have 12 gig of data per month from um, Verizon, and we came within point one nine gig, I think that's what it was. Um, we were at, um, uh, Williamsburg, Virginia, um, Powhatan, I think that's what it was, the Powhatan, 
It's a beautiful look. I, I'm not going to, I don't want to, like, I won't completely bash them. It's a beautiful place to stay. It was really, really nice. Um, perhaps one of the best places, uh, you know, layout-wise around that I've stayed at in a while. Um, with the exception, like, I'm, well, it was a similar one, um, but it was, um, that one was better, the Chicago, but anyway, um, but it, it was really pretty, like, it's a nice land, you know, it's, it's kind of expansive, there's lots of stuff to do, um, but their internet just sucked, and I'll be honest, the restaurant wasn't phenomenal either, the, um, at least what I had there wasn't very good. It was, um, their, their pasta sauce is basically their pizza sauce. So it's, it's really sweet. Like, and unfortunately, I guess my problem is my wife is Italian. So I've gotten used to real Italian gravy, as I to call it, you know. Um, I'm not really supposed to call it sauce, but anyway. The, um, so it's like when I get to something that's like kind of generic or like crap out of a can kind of pasta sauce, I, I notice it immediately and it's no good to me anymore. I mean, location-wise, I can't complain about it. It was, it was pretty close to everything that we were going to. I mean, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, um, Colonial Williamsburg. Um, you know, it's just that their internet sucked. And nowadays, it's like that's a huge thing. Like, you, you know, that can make or break an entire vacation in a lot of ways. And when I tried to stream, it was just spinning wheels. And then I tried to record one, and then I was just going to try to upload it. Uh, yeah, I figured I could just let it go all day and just load it up to Twitch. And, uh, you know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't go over. I've been doing that, too, recently. I've been going a little too close, so... It's been nice talking to you. I gotta go on, don't worry. This will be here for a while. <laughs> I'm too slow, so. And you can always check in the Facebook page just to keep, like, a, just a single visual update on it. Because um, I do always take, like, I always post a photo of it every night, so. That's Brian Coates Paintings on Facebook. C O A T E S. Technically, I shouldn't say, I've been nearly going over my data. My son's been nearly going over my data each this past few months. My wife would go to the pool with him when the, uh, you know, during the summer or whatever, because they had one the, well, I guess I do too, but I don't ever go. I don't like public pools, but it's like the community pool or whatever. And, um, oh, well. <laughs> so, so. The, um, but, you know, it's a public pool. You figure kids go swimming, right? No. 
He watches his YouTube videos. And even though they had Wi-Fi, he would not connect to it. Can't tell you how thrilled that makes me. I'm going a little closer to the legitimate color than I was originally intending on it, but I'm trying to give them some variety in here. I mean, they'll transition a lot. I'm just keeping it very flat at this point. Um, I know it's about time to close up anyway soon, so we'll just wrap up this one, I think, and then we'll forget what I was doing and I'll end up going somewhere else a little longer on it and then I'll forget and I'll be like oh crap I gotta close up for the night I gotta go to work tomorrow if they ever give me a goddamn work from home day again that'd be great I might be able to even add Fridays in a, to a stream because the only reason I don't stream on Fridays is because I get so f pissed off on my ride home because it's always bad but if you eliminate my drive home, and look, I won't lie, one of the pluses I used to take advantage of on my Fridays uh, when I work from home is I'd slap on my PS4, and I would just go into like free play, like the uh, training and whatever session on Rocket League, and just so in between calls, you know, and in between waiting for answers from the plants and stuff. You know, I'd throw it on a little bit. Practice dribbling and stuff, which I've never gotten good at. Though I'm getting a little better. I actually will say I had progress tonight. I had a little progress tonight. And I was like, holy shit, I actually dribbled. Like, all the way from, you know, uh, about three quarters back of the pitch up to the, uh, to the goal and and I did even got it to the perfect spot where I could flick it off the back, you know, which is like the thing I fall for literally every time when someone does it to me. They just, they ball me. I, no, I can't say every time. I'll say this. They will always get me once with it. If I, if you play against me, there's, I just gave you my greatest weakness. Because I will fall for it at least once. Once I know your move, though, you're mine. So just FYI. To quote a president, I can't believe I miss anymore. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't fool me again. I used to be better at doing the job, yeah. See if I can bring it back. I know how hard it is to put pie on your family. It won't sit still. No, just... He did say that. Not that they wouldn't sit still, but... Anyway. God, remember when he looked like an idiot? Anyway. Good times, good times.
let's do the... Alright, yeah, let's just set one more thing over here, a little bit. That's just a little bit, and then I gotta get... Yeah, it's 10.30. I think my wife's getting a little mad. Like, we're, we're one episode away from finishing our the show we watch, Hemlock Grove. And, um... Like, I think she wants to wrap it up, you know, and just... But I keep going a little long here every night now for, like, for Wednesday and Thursday. I always end up a little longer now. So I think she was hoping to get it done before this weekend, but we're not getting done until tomorrow. So, oh, well, dear. All right. So we'll keep with the um, underpainting. Tomorrow we still got a lot of rocks, you know. I mean, I can kind of just take a few spots in here and just, you know, whatever. Yeah, just to give it some weird little umps and rumps and hellos and whatever. Um, oh, how's your daddy? Well, who's your father? Who's your daddy? What does he do? Um, Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're, what do we got to, let's see, so tomorrow is a no paint day, like I said, I'll be pissed off when I come home, I'm sure, the only reason I could do it last Friday was because I took off to purposely miss my, not really purposely, but I ended up missing my, uh, psychiatrist appointment, so, um, The next day will be Sunday then, right? Sunday night. Um, we will... Um, I don't know what we have planned. As, uh, I'll be honest. I, I think it's a... Let's see, what did we, what did we do last Sunday? Because like every other Sunday we eat at my parents' house. So I think it's this weekend that we would eat there. I think that's right. Um, I could be wrong. It's a little weird anyway because we're going to this thing for the Philly Supervisor Club, which my father's a part of, so we're eating there. and So I don't quite know what's really, really going on. Um, so right now we'll say 7.30. Keep an eye on the Facebook and the Twitter account because that's where I can update it cleanly. Um, since I took away, like, the feed activity thing here. Um, so, it's, on Twitter, it's at Brian Coates Art. Again, Coates is C-O-A-T-E-S. Um, or at Brian Coates, um, or on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Brian Coates Paintings. And there'll be updates on there when, as that day's going on. You'll see where I'm, I'm at with things. Um, and so that'll be it. Sunday, we'll try to get in here and do as much as we can. And hopefully at least Sunday we can finish up the underpainting. I don't think it'll be a big problem. Um, it's really just a bunch of rocks and, and you know, it's rocks. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. I, I don't think if we start the really over top painting stuff, it's not going to be a whole lot. It, it, it'd be like back here. Like, I don't really see a lot happening. But we'll try to finish up the uh, underpainting. And then, uh, like I said, we'll keep going. All right. So have a good night, guys. And I will see you Sunday.